So now we're going to do a brief overview of what the core concepts are for GitHub Actions, and we're going to talk about some of the key terms. So in GitHub Actions, uh, the, the, the main components and key concepts are workflows, events, jobs, actions, steps, and runners. And all these terms are tied together uh, for your GitHub Action and workflow. So a workflow is basically the overall process that you want to run when something occurs. Your workflow is basically encapsulates everything here that's shown in this image. Uh, your workflow is a, uh, a configurable automated process that can run one or more jobs. It's usually defined, it is defined in a YAML file that's checked into your repository, and it will be triggered when particular events happen. Or they can be triggered automatically uh, at a defined schedule or manually. Uh, so basically, like I said, the workflow is the whole process that we're going to run. Uh, your workflow could be... Uh, Let's say when code, uh, a, pull, a pull request is opened, uh, you might want to run some tests, run lint your code, um, try to deploy and build the files. Um, that could be one whole workflow. Uh, you could have a workflow that could be automated every day and it runs white source scans uh, to check for vulnerabilities. So how workflows are triggered is it's triggered by an event. Uh, your events uh, can be a GitHub event, uh, so such as like a pull request being opened. Uh, it could be uh, an issue being created, code being merged. It could be a manual trigger event, or it could be uh, automated. Like I said, it could be a daily cron job that runs. And so inside your workflow, you define your triggers, which are tied to these events. And so GitHub will check your triggers um, when these events happen and then kick off your workflow. So then inside your workflow, you will define your jobs. And so basically your jobs are something that you want to happen. Um, one job, like I said, could be building your application and another job could be deploying it. So that way you can encapsulate it. Um, and basically these jobs are going to run on what is called a, a runner. And so your, your runner is basically a container, um, that will, could be Ubuntu, Windows, Mac, OS, it could be your own hosted runner. And so basically this is where your code is going to be run and executed. Um, so it, like I said, it uses an operating system so that we can install dependencies that you need uh, to run various uh, tasks. It's going to be your virtual machine. So inside your job, you can define a set of steps, which is basically the steps that you want to run when a particular thing happens. Uh, so your steps uh, can be executable scripts or they can reference other GitHub actions uh, that are small, reusable components to that are repeatable that you want to execute in your script. Uh, so just as an example, like if we have a workflow tied to a pull request, uh, maybe we want to check out the repo as step one, uh, and that could be a GitHub action. Uh, step two, uh, we want to go ahead and set up our dependencies. Uh, so let's say we have a node project, we would go ahead and install node, install NPM, uh, so that we can install any dependencies. Uh, so that would be a couple steps. That'd be like steps two, three, and four. Um, and then let's say if we want to run linting or test, those could be our next steps. And so at a high level, these are the key concepts uh, that are important to GitHub Actions. And what we'll see in the coming videos is as we're setting up our workflows, we'll see how these concepts tie to our workflow file and what they actually do.